Hey guys, it's Marcus here. Um, right off the bat, um, sorry about the quality of the video. Um, well, this is not the actual video. This is just merely uh, me having the camera recorded at the TV screen. And um, I figured it would be best to record off of an LED TV rather than like a, you know, standard old fashioned uh, TV that, you know, your grandpa's had. Well, not maybe not that old, but you know what I mean. So I thought the LED TV would look a lot better because I don't have a capture device. So all I'm doing is just basically recording my camera pointing at the TV screen. In hindsight, I guess it's um, I guess it's a lot better than uh, capture, I suppose, because I don't have to worry about mixing my audio with the game's audio and all that sort of stuff. So I guess it's kind of easier in that way, but I don't know. Uh, I already uh, set up the recording position, so it should stay in its uh, stationary position. So let us get started. What Let's Play is this game going to be? That's up for you to guess. I'll give you a hint. It's something out of the 90s, and it's something on the N64 in which everyone loves. I'll uh, give you some time to guess, or I could just turn on the game right now. Oh yes. Do 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 Yes, it is indeed Pokemon Stadium for the N64. I am playing the standard North American release of Pokemon Stadium, so, uh, yeah. And just so you guys know, this is my only cartridge of Pokemon Stadium. I don't have a new one. I don't have any intentions of getting a new one because this one has a very sentimental value to me. I originally rented it a bunch from Blockbuster and I eventually bought it. And I still have it to this very day. So, yeah, let's get started. And, uh, as you can see, I already have some uh, Pokemon games already inserted. Hold on, let me sit down because I've been standing up this whole time. Hopefully I'm loud enough. Um, yeah, this game does indeed use your original uh, Pokemon game packs, like Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And how it works is that you get this thing when you uh, buy the game. It's called the Game Transfer Pack. And you basically uh, insert it into your Nintendo 64 controller and it lets you use your Game Boy packs for Pokemon Stadium. I guess it can also work for a few different games but I don't see why it couldn't go the uh, SNES route and just like you know let you play your Game Boy games off the Nintendo 64 because that's what basically the uh, Super Nintendo had. It, it basically lets you play your games off of the TV and usually, like, well, I don't really have any uh, Super NES for uh, the Super Game Boy. I don't have any intention to get so because I just usually play Pokemon games. So, like I said, I'm already playing a saved file. This is the save file that I've had ever since I was a lad. Um, if you experience some like flick, uh, some like wavy flickering on the screen, that's like in a. Uh, Screw it. In an upwards direction. I forgot what that's called. I always mix up the two between horizontal and vertical. Um, I believe it's. I believe it's vertical. Whatever. I don't care. But basically, this is the main game. Hold on. Let me go back. Explain a few things since this is my le uh, first let's play. Uh, right off the bat, you have a couple options here. The versus battle basically lets you. Well, it, it tells you on screen. So this is a whatever, I'm not going to read it, because you guys can read it, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, it basically has like a couple of different options for you. There's this really stupid one called the Gallery, and it just lets you shoot pictures of Pokemon. We already have an entire game for that, it's called Pokemon Snap, which I also grew up with. But basically this is the main area, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, a couple different areas here that I want to address. 
The main stadium mode lets you uh, enter in uh, several different tournaments here. There's the kids club, which is an area for mini games. Free battle, which lets you choose whatever rules that you want. You know, you can have up to four players, even though it's not really considered a four-player game. Basically, like, well, whatever. If I ever have a multiplayer video, I'll just like explain everything there. Uh, Victory Palace. Whenever you beat a tournament, all your Pokemon are saved right here and encased in trophies. Dedicated to the book. Um, whatever. The Pokemon Lab is basically where you can trade Pokemon, examine your Pokedex, organize your items, and all that good stuff. It's a very efficient way to like trade Pokemon and like, you know, it can even store some Pokemon on your Game Boy cartridge. And I'll get into it like a whole deal of cartridges before I even touch this. But there's also the last area, the Gym Leader Castle. Now, the Gym Leader Castle, I guess you might consider a campaign mode? Or maybe like a challenge mode? You remember like in the Pokemon games where you go from town to town beating every single one of the Gym Leader trainers? Um, yeah, imagine if you didn't have to travel from town to town and you just faced them all right here. Um, now... I have no idea how I'm going to start this off. I don't know if I should do a stadium mode or... Yeah, why not? Let's tackle the Gym Leader Castle first and then we'll move on to the main stadium mode. Now, for any tournament that you're going to enter in, there's always some rules. Let's go all over the rules, shall we? It is open to all Pokémon. All 151 Pokémon may enter. You enter in with six Pokémon. But, you only choose three out of the six Pokemon. No level restrictions. Now here's an interesting rule in Gym Leader Castle. The Gym Leaders and their underlings use level 50 Pokemon. And the level 50 Pokemon that they start off with will also be at the same level that your rental Pokemon start off with. Um, let me show you what rental Pokemon are. Uh, let, let, let's tackle Brock here for a second. So, here we are. We have a couple, we have these two selections here. Now, we can use Pokemon from our save, right? But there's also rental Pokemon if you don't have the transfer pack for some reason, or a Pokemon game pack. You use rental Pokemon. And, uh, the game basically sets you up with all these Pokemon to use. Depending on the rules, uh, well, yeah, depending on the rules, the game basically selects the Pokemon that you can use. So, for example, in Gym Leader Castle, you can use all 151 Pokemon. Now, note that Mew and Mewtwo aren't here. Uh, Mew, Mewtwo are basically unlockables, really, because they're the most rare Pokemon of the game. Now, the rule with Gym Leader Castle is, um... Let's go back to that rule, shall we? The rule with Gym Leader Castle is that if you use any Pokemon over level 50, their Pokemon will be of the same level as your highest Pokemon, or highest level Pokemon. So, let's just say I wanted to use some of my Pokemon that were in my Pokemon game packs. The thing is that if I have a Pokemon that's like level 54, then all the Gym Leaders and their underlings have level 54 Pokemon. So, the game basically uh, uh, gets you at that. You know, like, haha, -ha, you, you can't use like your most powerful Pokemon to like, uh, like blast your way through the competition. Uh, another rule is no two Pokemon asleep or frozen. Now, now these are like status effects things. And no self-destruct, no self-destruct move with last Pokemon. Self-destruct or explosion, I'm sorry. So basically, like, if you know Pokemon, then it's basically pretty standard. Now, you get to face off against every single gym leader here. And keep in mind, um, I am using an, a saved... Keep in mind, I, ugh, I can't speak. Keep in mind, I am using a save file. So, 
if you're playing with an unsafe file, these gym leaders will not be seen. So, yeah, basically I'm replaying the game because I don't want to have to start this game over for the sake of a let's play. I'm not that dedicated, people. <laughs> that, that's sort of the same reason why I probably won't ever like tackle any of the the old Pokemon games. I might tackle Yellow just for the sake of the fact that you know I had to transfer all my Pokemon onto the other game cartridges. But um, yeah, we're gonna start things off by battling Brock. Like in uh, the Pokemon games. Uh, you face off not only against Brock, but you also get to face off against trainers that come before Brock. Now, those of you who have played the Pokemon games will know that Brock loves uh, rock Pokemon. So, let's see. What are we going to use? Uh, oh, by the way, I'm only using rental Pokemon because I'm currently in the process of making Jack here, Pokemon Red, I'm currently making a master team here, so that's the reason why I'm not using any Pokemon for my games. At least not just yet, until I am able to uh, as assemble a master team, I'm not using any Pokemon from uh, my game cartridge. I'm using all rental Pokemon. Now you can basically beat the game using all rental Pokemon, it is doable, but it is hard as balls. Because the rental Pokemon here, they all suck. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with that. They all suck. I mean, like, as far as stat goes, they're not that bad. But it's just the move sets that are bad. Like Leech Seed, Poison Powder. I, well, okay, maybe that combination is kind of a punk move. Solar Beam, I don't know. It doesn't seem like Venusaur has any main attack aside from Takedown, which sucks because of Recoil. I always hated Takedown and... What was the other one? There's Takedown and there's like another like... Uh, normal physical attack that also deals recoil. I don't know, I just hate moves that have recoil. Uh, there's Razzly, Sleep Powder, I don't know. I'm probably gonna cut this whole thing out so... If I ever decide to cut it out, uh, future me, go right ahead and cut it out. Alright, we got Dugong, Executor, Sea King, Starmie, Lapras, and Jinx. Anti-Brock. Slash Giovanni. Let's do it. Bug Boy. Aw. <laughs> He's gonna get crushed. I'm surprised he doesn't have Pinsir or Scyther in here. Okay. Jinx is going up. Check out. Um, bu 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 Lapras and Dugong. Yes? Yes. Alright, let's do this. We bring you this battle live from Gym Leader Castle. How will our intrepid challenger fare against the best of the best? Best of the best. <laughs> All right, start things off with Ice Punch. Let's do this. Oh, and by the way, a lot of these trainers in this game that you're going to face uh, all have nicknames. And I'm surprised that Caterpie took that Ice Punch like a boss. I don't see why String Shot just lowers your speed. I feel like it should be like rap almost. Because that's a cool way to look at String Shot, right? So it doesn't have to be just like a status effect move. Or battle effect move, rather. I love the announcer in this game, I have to say. I This game, like, reeks of nostalgia for me. Um, oh yeah, I should probably talk about the cartridges. So... I was always kind of iffy about using cartridges. Because... Where I was always like iffy about storing Pokemon on like the Pokemon Stand cartridge. Because you can't do that in the Pokemon lab. The reason why is because some N64 games haven't aged well over time, and some of them tend to lose their memory. Like even if you use the memory card, oftentimes like it doesn't even matter because the game gets lost anyway. 
that I don't have a problem with because the games that do get lost, um, basically, they're either like, they either have like cheat codes where you can just use level select and you know, you can go back to where you were, or the game is like super short, like Toy Story 2 for example, really good uh, licensed game I have to say, not as good as 007 uh, GoldenEye though. Ah, uh, strange out again. But Toy Story 2, like, it's a pretty short game. It's a pretty okay platformer. The camera's kind of wonky in that game. But I grew up with that game, basically. And you can find it almost anywhere. I always love that. Take it down with one hit! And there goes the battle. Look at Jinx's titties, man. Hey, it looks like a TKO to me. In the main stadium mode, when you're doing like the main areas of the game, um, usually if you get a TKO, which is like a perfect uh, win, where none of your Pokemon faint, they give you a free continue. Because, you know, I'm just only facing off against four trainers here, they don't do that. But at least it gives you the option to save and quit, so there's that. So, let's uh, keep trucking through this. We have a lad. Alright, a uh, bit of a different game here. Um, Alright, I forget if Oddish is just grass and poison. I think it is grass and poison, so... Um, it looks like all these Pokemon, except for Paris, is weak against Psychic. Luckily, we have a Psychic Pokemon. Starmie is Psychic too, but it doesn't have a Psychic move, it just has Thunder, which is pretty cool. Uh, so... Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about putting Starmie in. Executor, um, also kind of iffy about... Outside of Jinx, there's not that much to work with here. Ah! See, the game kind of... I am... Ah, I was just... Basically considering, uh, like, each and every trainer was going to have Pokemon that were uh, weak against grass and water, so I wasn't really considering anything outside of that. So I might end up losing if I lose Jinx, but I don't think it should be that big of a challenge here, really. Although I am, like, genuinely surprised that there are other types. I probably should have, like... Uh, I probably should have considered this while I was like choosing my Pokemon, but whatever. I was just considering what would be good against Brock here, so this definitely took me off guard. Uh, I guess I'm going to put Lapras in, I guess? Uh, and Executor, just to mix things up a bit. Why not? But Jinx, I think it's going to be like a true lifesaver here. So, yeah, like I said, there's some games that uh, lose their memory over time, like your game save. So, that's always, you know, that, that, that that's always great, right? You know, but at least, like, some of the games that, like I said, lose their memory over time, they're usually either short or they have cheat codes. So, luckily, Pokemon Stadium isn't one of those games, so... Its memory is hel uh, held up pretty good. I think games like uh, Ocarina of Time also. Um, I think yeah, I think games like Ocarina of Time also uh, say the game's pretty good. Rogue Squadron uh, holds up pretty good. So I have no problem with saving some Pokemon on my N64 cartridge. Uh, sometimes it's the Game Boy packs that lose their memory too. Like, I bought, or I might have like gotten it from my cousin, but I remember I have Pokemon Silver still, and yeah, that game pack doesn't save at all. Ugh. So, yeah, the only Gen 2 Pokemon game that I have doesn't save. Although, hypothetically, I could get uh, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, but I sold my Nintendo, uh, Nintendo DSi for... By Wii U. So, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Another TKO. 
Jinx, you are a lifesaver. I don't know why I was scared that Jinx wasn't gonna last. Because, to be honest, I was like a pathetic group of Pokemon there. Oh yeah, see here, it's more like ground. Like Diglett and Dugtrio, Sand, uh, Sandshrew, Geodude, they're all weak against water and grass. Although there is Farfetch'd and uh, Pidgey. I love the, the name Dugster. To be honest, I have like a Pidgeot in my Pokemon Blue cartridge that's named uh, Pitchster, and I always refer to it as the Pitchster. Nothing can top the Pitchster. That's like my star Pokemon right there. Aside from Mew and Mewtwo, of course. And yes, I do have Mew and Mewtwo, but anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see, what does Executor have? Uh, oh, jeez. I probably shouldn't put Executor out because of Pidgey and Farfetch'd. Although, I will put out uh, Starmie. Not put out in like the sexual way. Even though I don't have a girlfriend. Boo hoo. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Weird segue. Um, Lapras, uh, yeah, you're going out too. And so are you, do, uh, Dugong. Is that the first time here we're using some other Pokemon? It's the gym turn of Tony. The gym leader is waiting right after this. Oh yeah, he is. He's <laughs> such a puny Pokemon. Look at, I love how these po I love how the Pokemon in this game are just scale. Look how small Diglett is. And yes, I know the eternal mystery. What is Diglett even? I know he's a mole Pokemon, but what are you under the ground? Mighty Moly from the word go. That was quick. Down this game is so quotable because of the announcer. I don't know why in the options the menu they give you the option to turn his, uh, turn the voice off. I don't see why anyone would. He's a friggin' like... He's so over the top, it's like nostalgically cheesy and enjoyable. I'm bringing on the thunder. Yeah. I was a, I always personally choose like Thunderbolt over uh, Thunder because Thunderbolt has more accuracy and does less power, which is fine because I like my moves to be more accurate. But Thunder is such a great move. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. No, duds become one-sided. I am owning here. And Sandshrew is about to be pulverized by Bubbles here. Is he gonna live? Nope. Okay, so maybe I didn't need to like spend like... What, what was it, like six minutes like picking out my Pokemon? This is a breeze. But, however, if you have played this game, you do know it does get uh, hard. It definitely gets hard later on. Poke Cup Master Ball, I still have yet to beat. I haven't beaten it to this very day. But, um, oh, one thing I forgot to, oh, wait, what does he have? All right, he has Onyx, Graveler, Cubone, Ammonite, and Kabuto. Now, okay, I should probably note this out. In the original games, I think Geodude had, what was it, Geodude and Onyx. I don't know, it was like somewhere around the lot, uh, somewhere along those lines. He didn't have Cubone or any of this other mess. Um, but, uh, yeah, they basically switched up the Pokemon in this game just to make up for, like, a full party for some of these gym leaders. So, they're not, like, sticking with the games, per se. It's kind of interesting that they put Vulpix in here, because, as you know, Brock does get a Vulpix in the anime. So, I always thought that... Would I always thought that was a nice touch. So anyway, uh, it seems pretty. Uh, it seems pretty doable. So let's see. I'm gonna bring out. I'm gonna bring out Dugong just to mix things up a bit. Executor as well because he has Ammonite and Kabuto, which are rock and grass or rock and water. Um, but far as far as Vulpix goes, I think we're good. So. Let's bring out Jinx for the heck of it. 
I'm so sad I didn't use any of these other Pokemon, like Executor. He's a pretty good Grass type. Nah, not a very good Psychic type though. As far as Psychic types goes, um, I always choose Alakazam. Even though that I would definitely choose Mew any day. Mew or Mewtwo. There's some modes in this game where it doesn't allow you to use Mew, Mew, Mew or Mewtwo. So instead you have to uh, make do with uh, Alakazam. But Alakazam in this game sucks, so I just trained my own. Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Taken down on the word go. Taken down on the word go. Yes, indeed. This is a wild one from the word go. What is your deal with the word go? Go, 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 I don't get that at all. Yeah, see, it is a Graveler. Uh, let's see. Let's use Aurora Beam. Taste the rainbow, mother effer! I don't know why I'm paying so much attention to how I swear. Oh no! What?! You fool, Brock! Why would you do that? No! Ah, I lived anyway. Joke's on you. You died for nothing. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. All right, what is it gonna use? Oh, it's Onyx. I have a feeling this Onyx has self-destruct as well. So we're just gonna kill him with rainbows again. Oh, he goes first. Oh, he's probably gonna take me out here. Yeah. Well, that's the first time I ever lost a Pokemon. Alright, let's bring out Executor. Alright, uh, let's use Mega Drain. I probably should have put it in sleep first. Oh no, not fine! Oh, I hate this move! Ah. Uh. I probably didn't even explain the game mechanics, did I? Basically, you just... It's like a turn-based RPG, almost. Instead, it's still turn-based, but it's not so much RPG. So you just basically choose the move, and, like, these... So, like, every Pokemon in here is, like, based around an element. Like I said, uh, Brock is a rock user. Rock slash ground. So, grass, water... Ice, I believe that's it, are good against Brock. Now if only I could move! Oh, I hate this! I hated it back in, like, the normal games. Ugh, such a punk. Brock! Oh, come on! This is dragging out this video longer than it should. What are we running at? Like 30 minutes? 31? Oh, please. Oh, please. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, this is torture. Oh, no. Please. No, bro. Oh, why? I'm probably going to have to switch out Pokemon. I still can attack, even the announcer's getting sick of this. Yeah, I'm getting sick of it too. Bring out Jinx. This is boring. Who wants to Who wants to see this for like? There we go. No, Jinx don't kiss him. He doesn't. Uh, you psychic. Please don't let him go first. Yes. What now? Please second on in one hit. Please, please. Ah! Oh. oh crap! Oh crap! Please live! Please live! Please live! Oh yes! 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 yes. I can take him out right here. Yes! Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's send him home! Send him home! All right, we're finally done. Hypothetically, it didn't take that long, even. STAGE CLEAR! Not exactly TKO, but we did it. 
We bit uh we beat Brock. Alright. Yay! But that's only the beginning, folks. We still have more to go. So, next video, we're gonna be taking on Misty of the Cerulean Gym. I'll see you guys then. Bye!